Now I would like to give the floor to the Assistant Executive Director of the World Food Program, Ms. Elizabeth Rasmussen. Madam, you have the floor. I thank you for all the work you are doing worldwide and especially for the people who need it most. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we are all here because we know that climate change is already having a devastating impact on the world's poorest and most food insecure people. Many of them are smallhold farmers and pastoralists in developing countries. We have a great hope um, and we believe that the Alliance can lead to action on the ground to help the millions of rural communities whose lives and livelihoods are threatened by climate change. Every year, the World Food Programme provides essential food assistance to more than 80 million people in more than 80 countries. And today, four in five of those people live in degraded, fragile environments exposed to frequent floods and droughts. Climate change will only make this worse. Potentially, they will lead to new humanitarian crisis, migration and displacement. In the World Food Program, we look forward to using our extensive global presence and operational reach to work in partnership to turn the Alliance principles and goals into concrete actions on the ground at scale. And we also have to make sure that we are taking the needs and the interests of smallhold farmers and rural communities fully into consideration as we move forward. The Alliance pillars on increasing sustainable agriculture productivity and building farmers' resilience against climate risk are central to many of WFP's core programs and innovations. Yesterday, we were very proud to announce the expansion of the joint WFP Oxfam America R4 Rural Res Resilience Initiative from Ethiopia and Senegal to also include Zambia and Malawi. The R4 provides a model for leveraging safety nets to scale up climate smart agriculture for the most food insecure farmers. R4 is a unique insurance for asset model and it's an innovative way of integrating micro insurance and disaster risk reduction into social safety nets. We look forward to working with the Global Alliance to continue these efforts to scale up action and to build the resilience of the most vulnerable farmers around the world. Thank you.